today's video is going to be so exciting and so shocking. See, you must watch this. Please watch the video today. So, I'm going to put this really straight. For every isometric drawing, you must make sure that your baseline is very straight because if this is too light, not straight, then it will affect the whole work. Okay, so first of all, we're going to make it up just a string instrument a ruler, a 30 degree set square, and a pencil. So, I'll place my ruler straight like this and then I'll place this on top. Now, isometric drawings are inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. What do I mean? This angle here is 30 degrees. So, I'm going to place it this way and then draw a straight line. <laughs> And then bring it this way. All right. Now, having done that, now this line has to be very, very faint. It must not be very, very visible. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to put, we want to use the dimension. So, at this part here, so this is seven point five. Okay. Well, was, was that for me 7.5 from this part and your mark and the other side is 150 which is 15 cm all right so as i'm done i'll just take in that part I haven't done that. I'll get to my set square, okay? Now we'll draw this part upward. I wish I should like straight. And the length here is 25, okay? 25. So we'll draw 25 upward, 25 upward. And also do the same thing too for this part. So I'll then join it like this. And then join this part. We're going to enter into a calculation aspect of technical drawing. Okay, so to um draw or to get the dimension from here to here, okay. Now we're gonna do one ten minus seventy-five, which will give us thirty-five. That means if you add this plus this to give you 35. Now we'll divide 35 by 2, which will give us 17.5. That means from here, from here to here, 17.5. Here to here, 17.5. Okay, remember 110 minus 75. Whatever you have divided by 2 to get here and here. Because if you don't divide by 2, you get the full length of here, here plus here. Okay? Alright, so that will give us 17.5. Now, 17.5 plus 20 will give us 37.5. Okay, so, we're going to draw from here 37.5, 37.5. But even before we even start this drawing, let's know the distance between here to here. Now, if you look, we're giving distance from here to here to be 15. So, and here is 75. So, we know this is 15, okay? This is 15 distance. Plus this 50. Okay? 15 plus 50 will give you 65. So here to here 65. Minus 75 will give you here to here. That means 65, 75 minus 65 will give you 10. That means here to here is 10. This is 15. This is 50. So 72 will give you 75 as the total length. Okay? So we're going to measure 10. Which is one cm. I'm just fifteen here. Okay, and then we'll draw a line. Okay, so I've drawn it. Okay, now, um, we are we are gonna do something now. And remember, we have created thirty-seven point five. So on this line here, draw thirty-seven point five. It's a seven point five should be around this area, and then the same thing on this line. Okay, 
then we'll, we'll join these two points, okay? But with a very faint line. Now, still on that again, we carry the line up. What's the distance? 25. Okay? Distance here, 25. Okay? So, 25 up. 8, 1, 2, 25. Okay, then I'll join the upper part of it. Upper part. And the length here, okay. This length is 75. They gave it to us. I'm going to measure 75. And then just do twenty five to up. Then join. So to complete the box up, so let's connect it. Thanks and. So I'm just taking it. Okay. So I'll join this up part. Okay. And let's draw this box in the middle. And the length of this box is 50 and this is 25 okay if i divide this into two equal parts i'll have 25 right 50 divided by 25 same thing to here okay and i will draw with this faint line i'll do the same thing too for this part here 25 divided by 2 will give you 37.5 which is 37 same thing to here Now join it. Different line, okay. Now, if you watch from this top, 50, 25. That means from this center, it's 50, and the other, from the other, from the other part is 25. So we have put 25 at the middle point here. Let's let this let's your middle point correspond to 25. So measure 25. And 25 to give it 50, okay. Now, so do the same thing for this side 25. 25 divided by 2, give it 2.5. So, also come here to 12.5. Okay. And then we'll draw. Oh, I'll draw and we'll try our best to make sure that this line is faint as possible because this is our imaginary works until we get what we want to get until we achieve the end results we will not join I will not make it thick so make it just faint and then do the same thing too for this part here and this point you max all right now we'll join these points okay 
So we have drawn this part of it. Okay, we have successfully drawn this part. So, um, let's come to this. But before we come to this, let's join this part. Let's take this part. So we're taking here. Okay, we're taking this part too. Oh, please, before you tick in, make sure that you are done drawing. All right, so let's let's get this part. This part of it. Now we have from this center here. Okay, it's given that this the distance is ten from the center. Okay, ten. This five, five. Okay. No length here. Alright, so we will just draw with what they give to us. I believe too, with your engineering eye, you should know that this is also situated towards the center. So that means here also have to be the center point, okay? Now, let's draw. So if this is the center point, I will mark before. Okay? Center points. So we're going to measure 0 0.5, 0 0.5. 0 0.5, 0 0.5 to give you 10 millimeter, okay? Alright, so this is 0 0.5, this is 0 0.5. Now we also need to measure the half of these two. 25 divided by 2 give it 37.5. It's around this area. Okay. Uh, this is it. Then we also measure the 0 0.5 here too. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. To give it 1. Okay. And then we will join it. You won't join the center point. You, you only draw join the 0 0.5 okay you will skip that center point you skip it okay so having done this just roll again make sure that's always straight and then play here always make sure you roll like straight okay so we have we have this Bring it down, okay, and then join to these parts. Okay, so I've drawn this part of it. All right, so do the same thing too for the back, but the back will not give him um issue because it's some part of it is even hidden. So um. I will just do the same thing like this for, for, for the front for the back. Okay, I just did this. Okay. Now, let's get the middle. Okay, if this is 30, 75. About 37.5. Okay, and then for the middle here, I will just measure 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Okay. 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 And the reason missing in the diagram is this holes, the four holes, okay? So, um, that's why I didn't clean this line. To draw these holes, it's going to be very, very helpful. And the distance of this here to here is 18. According to what it tells us, 18. That is 9, 9. This is 20. Okay. So, from here, measure 20 to serve as a center. Okay. 20. Then we'll just draw paint lines. Okay. Alright. Now, this is 10. The width here is 10. Because the four books are identical. They are identical, having equal measure uh, in equal parameters or measurements. So this is 10, that is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. On this line, we want to measure 0 0.5, 0 0.5. 
Is this drawing easy? Tell me what's in be this? Jesus, Jesus. Okay, so this is the end of this diagram, and this is how it looks like. Okay, so I just skin all my lines and then clean the uh, projection line. So, guys, this is it.